announcements and right into the word um, of God on this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh yes, we're going to do our offering right now and um and we we have a surprise guest for everybody that and they haven't heard her voice in a long time. So she's on this morning and she's going to give us the word of God. Amen. 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 Yes, the Lord. I just appreciate her, her um, telling me that she was going to come on and do it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Yes. Yeah, so. Amen. Yes. Yeah, so we just thank God for her on this morning, and we know that God is going to have His way. Amen. Right Amen. now, Amen. um, on the screen, these are the ways that you can give to um Obi Wan. Um, global ministries you can give via cash app um, that is cash tag o-b-i-o-n in global then you can give uh, through venmo at pastor shana dash ob paypal ob1 ministries at gmail.com zell shay ob at gmail.com then we have givelify that's ob1 global ministries inc and you can also mail your um ties your offers your donation in 
to Obi-Wan Global Ministries P.O. Box 234. That is Mango, Florida 33550. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right. I'm going to play your song. I go back Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm happy to hear and see everybody that is here this morning. And uh, I'm glad to see that we are COVID free so far. Mm -hmm. I beg Thank for you. everybody, please, to go on and get their shot. Go on and get vaccinated. Please, 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 please. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Get, yeah. It, get it. And advise your children to get it, please. It's getting yeah. crazy. And then the next one is coming, called Gamma. Mm. Yes. So we need to protect ourselves. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we yes, do. God, yes. God, gave us, God gave us wisdom and gave us people that will help us to get to where we go. Please, everybody, mm -hmm. because they say that 99% of these people that are getting uh, infected lately are the ones that didn't get vaccinated. What they say, really? Mm -hmm. People getting it now are the people that didn't get their shot. You can get it with, you know, if you had their shot, but you won't be as sick. And it is definitely will not kill you if you had your shot. You might get it, but you won't be as sick as somebody that didn't get the shot. You know, so go and get your shot. I don't care what they say. They have all kinds of excuses. Oh, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. Oh, you're going to change this. He's going to change that. This, uh, don't listen to all that. Go on and get your shot. People telling you, those people telling you those things, they got their shots. My Lord. But they're going to tell you, don't get it. My so, Lord. Please go on and get it. Uh, My that's Lord. This morning, and I thank everybody that gave and uh, anybody that wanted to give but couldn't. May God bless all of us. Through Jesus Christ. No. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Amen. 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 Now Amen. we're going to do our announcements. Amen. We're going to do our announcements right now. Hallelujah. My Lord. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Armstrong. 
Good morning. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Our announcements are as follows. On August the 7th, we have um, a back to school bash that will be um, going on here in the Tampa Bay area. It's three nonprofit organizations, three in one with one purpose. That will be Obi-Wan Global, the Ebo Association of Tampa Bay, and tag in. We will be giving away free book bags, school supplies, food, music, and fun. The address is 3804 North 29th Street. That is in Tampa, Florida. And um, the telephone number, if you need to ask any questions or get directions there, is 877-824-4657 or 813-702-1001. Um, you can also send your... Um, questions or if you need directions it will be on each website and the websites are obi1global.org tag in dash in dot org and ebo association tampa bay dot org amen amen please, please bring your children out that day on the 14th of august we will also have another back to school bash in our local area here in the brandon sefna plant city area that will be held at 710 mlk boulevard sefna florida 33584 that will be in the bank of america winn dixie parking lot and social distancing and masks are required you will not be able to get anything without your mask and social distancing, no. amen. amen. So those, both, on both of those days, we will have blissful notary services and cop notary services out on the site with us. They will be out there um, to notarize any of your DMV forms, any of your school physical forms, your football physical forms, your passport forms, school affidavit forms, they will be on site each uh, back to school bash on the 7th and the 14th, amen. So if you need to contact Blissful Notary Services, you can do so by emailing blissfulnotaryservices at gmail.com or calling 813-820-1390. If you wanna get in contact with COP uh, Notary Services, you can do that, uh, email them, Cobb Moore, that looks like a one at gmail.com. And the number is 813-647-7196. We're also Hello. doing a free Bible mission in um, Pakistan. So that is Obi-Wan Global Ministries International Pakistan. So the national head over in Pakistan is Reverend David John. So if you want to um, be a blessing, a dollar fifty cent don't even matter. These people just want Bibles over in Pakistan. Okay, Amen. We do also have um, twelve midnight prayer on Wednesdays and Fridays. This is a clarion call, and we do need to be praying for our government. We need to be praying for our communities. We need to be praying for our children. Amen. Keeping mm -hmm. our children protected, ourselves. Our, I mean, our family members. There's so many things and so many people that we need to be praying for. So you are mm -hmm. welcome to join us. Um, the prayer line is hosted by God's Mother Prayer Line, and the phone number has changed to 848-220-3300. The access code is 334-1266. We also have Bible study on Wednesdays at 8, that is 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, hosted by the Obi-Wan Global Movement. That number to call is the same, 848-220-3300. The assets code is 334-1266-POUND. Um, coming up this week, I will be uh, putting posting some more um. Uh, recordings of my From Pain to Purpose podcast. Um, you and that is, it is hosted by myself. My website is obiwanglobal.org. The phone number is 813-702-1001. If you have some suggestions, um, or just want to contact me, 
um, any topic suggestions, call, call the number or email me at ob one ministries at gmail.com. That number again is 813-702-1001. We also have a web app. If you want to stay connected with the movement to receive this app, you have to text OBIONE to 27126. If you do that right now, you will receive the app and you'll be able to stay connected with the movement. If you are looking for a church home down in the Vero Beach, Gifford, Florida area, in the River County, Port St. Lucie counties. New Generation Apostolic Holiness Church will be glad that you came and they will welcome you with open arms. The Sunday school starts at 10, morning worship at 11.30. The address is 1916 27th Avenue, Vero Beach, Florida, 32960. The senior pastor mm -hmm. is Bishop Milton Mills, along with his beautiful wife, Lady Mills. Amen. Amen. Those are all of our announcements. Okay, now we're going to get right into the word of God. We have a powerful woman of God that is getting ready to bring forth the word of God on today. Um, everyone knows who she is, but I just wanted to surprise everyone because I didn't tell nobody anything. So uh, she has been around with um, Obi-Wan Global Ministries for a long time, since I would say 2013 or 14, One of, but it's been a while. Um, she uh, is very uh, dedicated to what she does in the field. She has uh, two daughters and one son. And I say she, when I tell you she's getting ready to um, um, tear this word up this morning. I'm just excited right now because I'm ready. So I am introducing to some and presenting to others prophetess Kiana Jones. Amen. 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 God bless everybody. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. I'm thankful to God and always thankful to Pastor Obi mm -hmm. for giving me the opportunity to preach to the people of God and also to preach to myself because I have to tell you that most of the time when I get a word, God knows that it's always for me first. And I just thank God for the, another opportunity to stand before you or sit before you in this mm -hmm. case as we are right. on Zoom. But I am deeply honored. Now I know I got to try to live up to what Pastor Obi said. Let's see if I could tear this here word up. <laughs> but God is good. I am not going to, I'm not even going to have Pastor put all the scriptures up right now because we've read the scriptures this morning. And honestly, the scriptures are the message. So if you'll go with me before the Lord in the word of prayer, we will pray and then go on. Father, it's in Jesus' name that we come to you again. And we thank you, God for another day. We thank you for breathing the breath of life into us one more time. Father, we pray right now that you would come and your people bless, come and give your word success, spirit of holiness upon us to sin. Father, I pray that you will hide me behind the cross right now as I decrease and you increase, that the words would be yours and not mine, that everything that you have for the people of God to hear, they would hear. Anoint the ears of the people, anoint the mouth of the speaker. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. So once again, not going to go through the scriptures right now because as I preach, the scriptures will be infused because the scriptures are themselves the message for today. If my, you hear the scriptures, then I think you will understand that where I'm coming from today is number one, talking about faith and talking about the things that we ask God to do for us. And the word of the Lord that came to me for this morning is it's already done. Just have faith. It my is Lord. already done. Just have, have faith. Have faith. So I started in the book of Matthew, chapter 7 and verse, verses 7 through 11. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, 
receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom if his son asks bread, will you give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? My Lord, come on here. God wants to give you something good. Jesus. And I know that there's something that you've been asking for, that you're seeking for, that you've been knocking around for. And it seems like it just is with not, it's just not within your grasp. But God wants you to continue to knock, continue to seek, because everyone that seeks finds. Mm. Everyone Come that on. knocks has the door open. My Everyone mind. who asks will receive, but God wants you to continue to ask. Mm -hmm. When you ask, you. you will receive. Yeah. All it requires mm -hmm. is your faith. That's uh -huh. it. Now we know that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence mm -hmm. of things not seen. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 11 that it's by faith that the elders obtained a good report. That is through My faith Lord. we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness and he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts and by it being dead yet speaketh. By faith was My he Lord. not translated that he should not see death. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So yeah, when you ask, you receive, when you seek, you find, when you knock, it shall be open, and all you need is faith. We have heard the song saying many times over that prayer is the key, but mm -hmm. faith unlocks the door. My Lord. As you Amen. knock on the door, all you need is to turn that key of faith to open it. As you turn the heat of faith, let your prayer will continue to turn because the Bible admonishes us to be careful for nothing, but in all things with prayer and supplication, make your request known. Yes. When you make your request known, once you ask, you will receive. Now, you may not receive it right away. You may not receive it the next day. You may not even receive it the next year, but hold on to your faith because it's already done. All in My Lord. Now God tells us in the book of Romans, he had Paul to write unto the Romans to remind them in chapter 13 that it was high time to awake out of sleep for now is salvation nearer than when we believe. My Lord. When we first believe, it may have seemed out of reach. When we first believe, it may have seemed like there was so much to overcome, but it's nearer than when you even began to believe God for what you need. Yes, hallelujah. Knowing that it's nearer than when you believe, understand that although we will go through things in this world, we don't have mm -hmm. to worry about it because God said, yes. These things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall mm -hmm. have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Yes. Yes. My Lord. Hallelujah. So while it seems like it's out of your reach and you may be walking through the valley of the shadow of death, hold on to your faith because you can have peace in God. If you keep your mind stayed on him, he will keep you in perfect peace as you go through your tribulation. Don't worry about what's going on in the world because God already overcame the world. Yes. My it's Lord. Already Lord. Done. Thank you, it's Jesus. already done. Just have faith. Matthew <laughs> continues to tell us, even in chapter 6, 31 and 34, and remember that in the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, we find the same stories, different wording. When you mm -hmm. start in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 31, the scripture reads, take no thought saying, what shall we eat? 
Or what shall we drink or wherewithal mm-hmm. shall we be clothed? For all these things mm-hmm. do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek mm-hmm. ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no tomorrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto mm-hmm. the day is the evil thereof. We have a few words here which indicate that whatever we need is already done. We have a few words oh, here yeah. that tell us that we can be assured that God has already made a way for us. The word shall. The word shall is not a, a statement or a word that we have to think about when it comes to whether something will be done or not. When we see a lot of ordinances and laws written, we see conditions, we will see if this, then something shall be done. When it shall be done, that means it's certain. That means Mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it. That means 100% that if then statement is going to be true because it shall be done. My Lord. When God says you shall, that means that's a promise from him. Jesus. Come on, Holy Ghost. And all of his promises in him are yea and amen. My Lord. Uh-huh. So when it, it says, is. all these things shall be added unto you, that means it's already done. My God. The scripture also says that your heavenly father knows that you have need of this thing. Now, the last time I preached for a Sunday morning here, I told you that you need to act like you know. Come on. Now, what what does it mean to know? When you know you are aware of something through observation, inquiry, or information, that means that you've experienced a thing or two. That means that you have been made aware of a few things. So God is aware of your situation. He knows what you need. And he also knows you. Because no is also to become acquainted with someone. To learn someone through interaction. God Uh knows you. He knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. He called you by name. He knows Uh who you are. And he knows what you have need of. So God, knowing what you need, he shall provide. Yes. My Lord. There's not a question about that. It is going to happen. So whatever it mm-hmm. is that you need and that you're believing God for, it's already done. My Lord. Hallelujah. We've been praying in agreement for healing. Mm-hmm. It's already done. Yes. My we don't Lord. have to worry about what the morrow is going to bring because yes. tomorrow will take care of itself, but it's already done. Yes. My Lord. In the book of Luke, it says, consider the ravens for they neither sow nor reap, which neither have storehouse nor barn and God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than the fowls? And which of you with taking thought can add to his stature one cubit? If ye then be not able to do thing, that thing which is least, why take ye thought for the rest? My Consider Lord. the lilies and how they grow. They toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like mm-hmm. one of these. My Lord. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field and tomorrow cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? O oh, ye of little faith, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. God has given you everything under heaven and earth. Everything that is in this kingdom belongs to you. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Because it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 
Whatever you need, it's already done. Whatever you want, it's already done. Because if you set your affections on things above, Jesus, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. God doesn't give us only what he needs. He gives us what we want as long as we seek him first, as long as we are obedient to him. Because he's not a man that he should lie. All of his promises are yea and amen. You shall receive. It is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He is already giving you the kingdom and the key to the kingdom is your faith. My God. As you knock, remember to turn your key of faith. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Uh In the book of John, we, we find the words, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. It is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. For if we ask in the name of Jesus, God will give it to us that the name of Jesus will be glorified. It is God's pleasure to give you the kingdom for the glory of Jesus. Your father's good pleasure to provide for you. That means that God is not hemming and hawing when you ask. He's not rolling his eyes when you come before him again. It is his good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Everything that you need, it's already done. If it's your business idea, it's already done. If it's an increase in income, it's already done. If it's healing, it's already done. In Isaiah 53 and 5, we know that he was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes, we are healed. That means it's already done. We are healed. That means that it happened. We are healed. It is already done. Already done. Your healing is done. Your promotion is done. Jesus. Your move is done. Mm. Your acquisition of a home or a car is done. Just have faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please God. Mm -hmm. When you ask in the name of Jesus, believe and it shall be given to you, that's faith. The the evidence, I'm sorry, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen, that is faith. Full assurance in the heart that God will do what he said he would do. It's already done. In the book of 2 Kings, we find the man of God, Elisha, and a servant of his, in quite a precarious situation as they are surrounded by an enemy army. And the servant is pretty, pretty nervous because he has Uh no idea how he and the man of God will get out. But all Elisha does is pray. Pray. He goes to the door of prayer and turns Uh his key of faith. And when the servant opens his eyes, he sees that they are surrounded by chariots of fire. Jesus. My God. Because Elisha had already told them, fear not, there are more with us than be with them. My God. This is where Mm -hmm. you can also relate to the scripture that says that if God be for you, who can be against you? Mm -hmm. To the enemy, it appeared that Elisha and his servants stood alone. Mm -hmm. My Lord. But God had an army around them. There is somebody who's looking at you and thinking that you're all by yourself. They think they can walk all over you and treat you any kind of way. They feel like you're not going to amount to anything because it's just you. My Lord. But I'm telling you, it's already done. 
because there are more with you than be with them. God has you surrounded by cherubim and seraphim who make sure that no evil will befall you, that no plague will come not thy dwelling because the promises of God for you are already done. And how can we be assured that it's already done? God has given us all these promises, but he says to us in Jeremiah 29 and 11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. God thinks good thoughts toward you. He already overcame the world so that you could have a positive expected end. God has plans for you. There is a purpose for your life. And everything that God has for you, it is already done. Don't worry about the fact that you really can't touch it right now. Don't worry about the fact that it's hard for you to see it in your mind when you think about it. It's already done. God gave us power to call those things that be not as though they were. It's already done in Jesus' name. Yes, My God. Yes, Lord. By faith. By faith, the 10 lepers were healed. By faith, the woman with the issue of blood was healed. By faith, when Jesus took spit and made clay and covered the eyes of the blind man, by faith, it was already done. Because when he went to wash in the pool, he opened his eyes and he saw it was already done in Jesus' name by faith. What do you believe in God for? What have you been praying and asking and seeking and knocking for? You need to know that it's already done in Jesus' name. It's already done. Uh For the better part of the last three weeks, my father has been hospitalized and his condition was quite dire. He was in a situation where not only did he have a horrible pressure wound on his back that has had to be debrided and a wound back applied. My father had to have a diverting colostomy surgery. He already has dementia and it just looked like his condition was steadily on the decline. Listening to some of the updates from doctors, it was easy to feel down and think that I might need to begin to make final preparations for my father. Jesus. But I thank God for faith. I thank God for the word of prayer. Yes. Because no matter what the report was, I continued to pray and believe. And when yes. God told me it was already done, I knew without a shadow of doubt that it was already done. And because of faith, because of prayer and the promises of God, I got a report this morning that not only is my father doing exceptionally well, His wound is healed. The colostomy surgery is doing what it needs to do. My father wasn't eating for the longest, but he's eating more than 50% of his food. Not only that, he's talking. My father has not known who I am in over a year, but this morning he asked for me. It was already done. Jesus, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. It was already done. In this life, we have tribulation. Yes. But God has told us these things that we can have peace in him. Because in the world, we will have tribulation. But we can be of good cheer because he's already overcome the world. My, 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 my. It is already done. It is already done. Whatever it is for you. It's already done. Come on, Holy Ghost. It is already done. Because God purposed for you that the thing should be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. The Bible says that the one who began the good work in us is faithful. Mm-hmm. Faithful. Yes, he is. And he will finish that good work which he began. Yes, Lord. So it doesn't look like what, it doesn't matter what point it is that you stopped along your journey. Come on. 
You're going to get there because it's already done. Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. God is faithful. He's already yes, predestinated yes. you. Yes. He ordained you for good works that yes. he prepared for you to do. Yes. Hallelujah. He has equipped you with everything Thank that you. you need to finish the course. He's giving you faith. He's giving you the word of God. Mm. And use the word as much as you can because this is where you will find your encouragement in the darkest times. This is where you will find strength when you're at your weakest. Oh. Be reminded that all things work together for the good of them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose is working together for your good. It's all yes. My God. You can rest assured mm -hmm. because you are more than a conqueror through him that loved us. It is already done. Mm -hmm. Life's oh, obstacles yeah. don't stand a chance when they come up against you because God already overcame the world for you. Jeez. There is no task that is insurmountable. There is no situation that cannot be fixed. Mm -hmm. There is nothing that you need that you will not have because it's already done. Uh -huh. it's Just have faith. Mm. Remember that it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. The kingdom uh -huh. belongs to you because your father said so. My Lord. If he clothes the lily of the field, uh -huh. if he feeds the ravens, how uh -huh. much more then are you? You who he created in his own image. You That's who he it. called forth to do great works in his name. Oh, you who mm -hmm. he has preordained and predestined for a purpose. How much more than are you? Lord, I thank you for the word. Oh, you are so much more. So much more than what people label you as. So much more than what they say about you. So much more than the people your family know you as. So much more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And everything that God has ordained for you is already done. Just have faith. God bless you. That is the word of God for the people of God in Jesus' yes. name. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 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 Amen. Amen. It's already done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. It's already done. If you want to be able to Thank have the full Jesus. assurance in the heart that everything Jesus. God has for you, that everything you desire, God has already done. If you want faith yes. to be the key that unlocks the door to all you need, then we offer Christ to you right now. Oh, hallelujah. The Lord of your life. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, if you are ready to step through that door as you knock, then pray this prayer with me. Jesus. Father, I thank you. Thank you for this day and thank you for your word that it's already done. Father, I'm asking you to come into my life to be the Lord of my heart, to take my hand and lead me and guide me. For I know that you have sent your only son, Jesus, to die for my sins, that he is the Lord of the earth, and I want him to be the Lord of my life. I ask uh -huh. you to come into my heart and create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. Forgive me my sins and make me whole in you. In Jesus' name, amen. 
If you have prayed that prayer for the first time, then I want to congratulate you and welcome you into the body of Christ. You are now a member of a family of believers who depend and lean on the word of God. Wherever you are, please find a church in your local area. If you need help with that, please feel free to reach out to our Pastor Obi, either through Facebook or through YouTube. You can find her at Pastor Shonda Obi on Facebook. You can find her on YouTube, Obi One Global Movement. She will direct you to a local church in your area where you can be fed and where you can grow and get the support that you need. We welcome mm -hmm. you again Thank into the body of Christ, and we pray mm -hmm. God's blessings over you as you begin this new chapter in your life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You got to continue to see. You got to continue to ask. Come on here. God wants to give you something good. Hallelujah. When you knock, find your key of faith. Come on here, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have to know that for the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 and 11, the new in the new international version, that's the NIV version. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans mm -hmm. to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God, hallelujah. Promises are yea and amen. By faith, yes. the ten lepers were healed. Come on here, Holy Ghost. By faith, yes. the woman with the issue of blood was healed. Come on here, yes. Holy Ghost. Yes. By faith, yes. if you are dealing with yes. any yes. ailments yes. in your body, yes. you are healed. Amen. Yes. So we thank God, amen, for the woman yes. of God on this morning yes. for yes. giving yes. such a powerful word. Amen. I just thank God for her. Amen. Um, I asked her about a week ago to do this, and she immediately said yes. Amen. And a lot of times we are tested. Amen. When we are going through something, you know, uh, yeah. in, with our family members and you know, God, you know, it's sometimes it's a test for us. It's a test of our faith. Are we going to continue to pray um, uh, even in the midst of our uh, uh, adversity of the things that we're going through? Are we going to continue to do what the Lord is calling us to do in spite of what the situation is in our home, with our children, yes. with our grandchildren, with our husbands and wives? Are we going yes. to continue to press towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus, amen? So I just thank the woman of God on this morning for coming, giving us a powerful word. It was phenomenal. I just thank God, hallelujah. Y'all just don't know, I'm excited.